Nissan's luxury brand Infiniti has struggled to gain traction in Australia's incredibly competitive car market. But with the new Q30, it's hoping to turn that all around. It might look like a hatchback, but Infiniti is marketing the front-wheel drive Q30 as a crossover, so somewhere between a hatch and a small SUV. It's very similar in size to the Mercedes-Benz A-Class, mainly because it's built on the same platform thanks to a tech-sharing arrangement between the two companies. The Q30 also uses the engines from the A-Class, including a 1.6-litre turbo petrol, a 2-litre turbo petrol and a 2.1-litre turbo diesel, all matched to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. It's also going to come in three grades, base GT, the Sport and the Sport Premium. Even though Infiniti is calling this a mid-size crossover, it's definitely more of a city slicker at heart. There's plenty of room up front and it presents very well too. The Q30 has scored a maximum of five ANCAP stars for safety and it includes automatic emergency braking as standard across the line. The entry-level GT though misses out on a reversing camera which we think is a pretty big miss. Infiniti says it's looking at it and we hope they do. The Q30 feels like a proper little luxury car despite its small size. The seats are placed higher in the car making it easy to hop in and out and it's very quiet and composed on the road. The base model GT is definitely softer and slower than the mid-spec sports, which is probably our pick of the range after our brief first taste. Infiniti understands that it needs more cars on the road to gain more presence in Australia, and the cleverly unusual Q30 just might be the machine to help them. You want to read the full review? Click right here. And don't forget to click subscribe if you want to stay on top of all of our latest videos.